Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to continue on with some 2018 Schleich figures, and it is... Uh, moving right about there, it is the Cetacosaurus. Now this guy is phenomenal, I can say that right away. Beautiful, beautiful Cetacosaurus. Ever since I had seen the promotional pictures where they were promoting this guy coming out, I was blown away because I honestly do really like Schleich. I've always liked Schleich, but this figure I feel like is just a beautiful step in a great direction for Schleich. I feel like it is just so wonderfully done and something that I honestly did not expect out of Schleich at all, but I am so glad that they did go with this because it is phenomenal. It is significantly smaller, honestly, than I expected. I don't know why I thought that this figure would be bigger because, I mean, it's a Cetacosaurus. They're pretty small, but for some reason I just assumed he'd be a little bigger. So he is a fairly small figure, but definitely that is nothing to take away from this figure at all because it is phenomenal. So let's get a closer look. We'll start up here at the head. You can see that the head is colored very nicely. I mean, there's not too much in the way of different tones in the head. It's uh, pretty much just a green color, but it looks pretty good and he's got a nice little grayish beak and the beak looks pretty good. For some reason the inside of the mouth isn't painted too well. You can see that uh, a little bit you might be able to get in there. It's got a little bit of a reddish or so color, but honestly it wasn't painted that well on the inside of the mouth. It could have been a little better, but it looks okay. But the rest of the dinosaur looks pretty good on the head. Good detail all over the place. The sculpt work is fantastic. Nice yellow eye with a beautiful pupil on both sides looks good. For some reason he looks like he's a, a little more bright eyed on his right side than his left. I'm not, not sure why, but he does. But uh, yeah, overall I think it's nicely done. And he's got this like pinkish color here on these little spikes that stick out of the side of his head. Now I had seen some other people when they had purchased this figure and I was very concerned when purchasing it myself because I felt like the other pictures that I had seen of this guy had this pink color on these little horns that stick out of his head it was very, very bright and almost obnoxiously bright. It didn't really look good. It didn't look natural in my opinion. But when I had received this guy, I was very pleasantly surprised to see that it was more of a dull pinkish type color or purplish color, whatever that would be. And it actually looks much better than I expected because like I said, it was so bright on some other people's figures that I thought I was going to end up getting a bad looking one. But luckily for me, it came and it looks beautiful and I really, really like it. I do not mind the pinkish purplish colors at all. Going back here to the neck, you can see some beautiful detail here. Some nicely sculpted out little bumps all over the body. Looks very, very good. The uh, underside of the neck is like a yellowish type of a color that also looks very good. And again, the, uh, there's some little skin folds there, some beautiful detail sculpted out all over on the neck area. Over here you can see the left leg is up here in the front. It's lifted up off the ground a little bit as it's taking a step, so there are some very nice skin folds right there. As the leg connects to the body, it looks very nice. Beautiful detail there all over the place, some little skin folds as the shoulder is connecting up here into the neck area as well. And you can see the hand looks very nice, it's sculpted beautifully, and you can see the claws are painted just a solid black, but it looks pretty good, it doesn't look terrible. On a small figure like this, you don't need it to have too many tones or anything because you're not honestly going to be able to tell really much anyway. The scaling all over this dinosaur looks phenomenal, it really really looks nice. And then you can see some beautiful skin folds here again in the stomach area as the front leg connects to the body and then right here in front of the back leg you can see some beautiful skin folds and again beautiful scaling all over the underside. And this light yellowish type of a color has been applied really really nicely all over the underside. It looks very natural, very realistic in my opinion. And then looking at the back leg here you can see some beautiful muscle definition here all over the upper part of the leg. And then going down here into the calf, again you can see some very nice muscle tone there. Beautiful skin folds all over the place and the scaling continues to be very nice the whole way through. You can see the back foot also looks very good, sculpted nicely. And again the claws are just a plain black color. We come up here to the tail and you can see some beautiful skin folds all over in here showing just the uh, motion of the dinosaur as its tail is curved. It looks very good. And then this little tuft of feathers here on the back looks nice as well, sculpted out very beautifully. And then this little hint of this purple pinkish type of a color 
running along the edge just gives it that little extra bit of a striking look and I think that that's very nicely done. You can see on the other side some more skin folds here in the neck region that look very good as well and then this front leg also looks beautiful. Some nice skin folds right here as the arm connects, well I guess this would be a leg still, front leg, but as it connects to the body here, some nice skin folds again. And then there's beautiful sculpt work all over the stomach region of this as well. And then again this back leg here is beautiful, you can see the skin stretching here. The right back leg is stretched out, it looks very nice. Nice attention to detail by Schleich. This was sculpted beautifully, almost pretty much to perfection in my opinion. And then again, nice sculpt work back here in the tail, and then again that little tuft of feathers right there looks beautiful on this side as well. So overall, honestly this is an absolutely beautiful figure here done by Schleich. They did a fantastic job on this Satakasaurus. They really truly did. I think it looks beautiful. Everything from the paint scheme, which it does have some, uh, it's primarily a dark greenish color, but there are some hints and tones put into it, making it a little bit of a darker area here and there. So it looks very good the way they painted it. Not super, super nice, but it definitely looks good. And those little pinkish colors that are put onto it are not really distracting or anything, so that also looks good. The overall size, if you go from the tail there to the head, you are looking at just about four and a half inches somewhere in that area. The ground up to the tail, you're looking at almost three inches. So he's not super huge, and he's definitely a smaller figure, but honestly, it looks fantastic. And I really think it's actually a pretty good size for a Satakasaurus, so it's not at all too small or anything like that. For a size comparison, here is the Papo T-Rex. You can see that he is significantly larger than the Satakasaurus, but you know, as he should be. But you can see that the Papo T-Rex is definitely significantly larger, so you can see that the uh, Satakasaurus is a smaller figure, but it's a very nice sized figure in my opinion, especially for a Satakasaurus. So overall, Schleich has done a great job on this dinosaur, an absolutely beautiful version of a Satakasaurus that in my opinion definitely stands up to the others out there like the Safari LTD version and the Collect A version. Definitely a beautiful addition to the Schleich family of dinosaurs. So great job by Schleich and I will link you guys in the description as to where you can purchase this guy because he is absolutely awesome and I will have more Schleich of the 2018 lineup to come. So definitely keep watching, like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.